Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all your support. And please keep hitting that like button and subscribing and posting those comments. I really enjoy reading your comments. Okay, Sagittarius. This reading is for January 1st through the 15th. Let's get into January 1st through 15th for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? January 1st through the 15th, 2023. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. We have the death card. Lots of transformation and change going on with you, Sag. Temperance and healing, okay? And actually, right after the death card comes temperance. So I feel like you're going into this deep progression. You're, you're definitely working on yourself, Sagittarius. And you're going into the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. What else do we have for Sag? Okay, the uh, Ace of Wands. The Moon card. Lots of major arcana here. We have the Emperor. Wow, okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Swords. Okay. What you don't see are your current energy at the moment, Sagittarius. I feel is the Knight of Swords. So, I feel like right now you are really focused. And I'm sorry, this cat wants to go outside. So, just one moment while I let him out. Okay, so your current energy, Sagittarius, you have the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords, this can be a life-changing event. This could be you talking your way into a situation, actually. And I feel like you're doing it in a hurry. But yeah, this is definitely life-changing energy. Yeah, you have the Justice card on here as, at the bottom as well. Like, like I said, there's a lot of major arcana in this reading. Um, I, I feel like <laughs> this situation, wow. And you have the tower. Wow. Huge, huge changes coming your way, Sagittarius. And I feel like with all this other energy, I feel like this, that you're the one initiating these changes. This is you making these changes yourself. I feel like, you know, the, the universe spirit is guiding you, but I feel like you're making changes. You're talking yourself into situations. You are bringing a lot of balance into your life. This is some work that you've done. You've done a lot of work on yourself, I feel. And now I feel like all these changes are coming into fruition because of what you've done. You've made these changes in your life. You started to make these changes in your life. Either way, you have huge, huge change with this two of pentacles yeah i feel like you're making choices you're making choices to make this change you've come into some kind of clarity some kind of um strong thinking i feel like you finally come to the truth of your situation 
some kind of truth has come out. Maybe it's truth about your destiny. Truth about where you feel like you're destined to be. But I feel like you're, you're making these choices that are having such a huge impact on your life. And it's bringing you into this situation. Um, but I feel like it's all starting with the new year. This could be new resolutions. This could be you really being actively changing your situation. Um, putting these things into action. You may be really focused this year on gaining good health. Are making certain changes in your life and I feel like that's all escalating it's all kind of moving you it's progressing you into the next change it's progressing you into this new being new person I feel like you're changing so many things about yourself but I feel like you're doing it for very good reason you're doing it to um, really provide yourself with self-care really bring balance into your life to you know get rid of any unwanted feelings but i feel this is all something that you're working up to very interesting you have the will of fortune as well now we're going from the death card to the temperance to the will of fortune so I definitely feel like, you know, you're going into this progression that's bringing you huge, huge change. This is definitely some kind of turning point where you're moving in this, this new direction. You're taking this action that's bringing more prosperity, more luck, more, more happiness into your life. I feel like you're no longer in that way of thinking like, you know, you want to be like someone else. I feel like you want to be exactly who you are and who you envision yourself to be. With this monkey, I feel like monkey see, monkey do. No, I don't feel like that's you, Sagittarius. I feel like you are on your own independent journey. I feel like you no longer want to see or have what other people see or have. I feel like you have a vision for exactly what you want. And I feel like you're following that. Very interesting, uh, Sagittarius. I feel like you're, you're, you're about to take a lot of quick action. See, because, you know, a lot of these cards have to do with change. Change, harmony, health, um, patience. Um, but basically, the death card, the will of fortune, the moon, uh, the tower here on the bottom, that all has to do with change and how you view your situation. Um, I feel like, you know, with the moon card, I feel like big changes come after you follow your intuition, after you have this spark of inspiration. Um, but, you know, with the tower, I feel like that that's, look at those arrows hitting that tower right there at the top. I feel like this is you making this inspired action. This is you initiating this change this is you sending this spark that causes the change and then it progresses to this death card to the temperance to this good fortune to the um ace of wands to the moon card which is also change but this change is following your intuition this change happens with your initiating it you're initiating this change. You're following this path that's this inspired action. 
And you already know that the wands, the ace of wands, this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning with some kind of inspiration. You're creating some kind of inspiration within yourself. You're setting that spark. And the Emperor card, I really feel like you're taking your control back. You're no longer being a slave to, okay, well, I, I need to worry about this because of finances. I need to worry about what I eat because of this. Or I need to worry about who I'm with because of this. I feel like you're taking control. You're taking the inspired action. You are controlling the situation. You are bossing up on the situation, Sagittarius. With this Page of Pentacles, I really feel like this is you taking this inspired action. The pages are the youngest of the um, court cards. They're young. They're just beginning a certain journey. And this may be you just beginning a journey for, for this pinnacle. This may be new money. This may be new health. The pinnacles also rule family. Very interesting. Sagittarius. Now you have the Five of Swords. So I feel like with this situation, I feel like you're gaining victory. Look how those wolves are running away from him because he has these swords. Um, he has these three swords on the bottom, but these wolves are running. He has them scared. He's victorious in this situation. Yeah, I feel like with this, this is going to bring you a lot of success. This is going to bring you a lot of good health. With this inspired action that you're making. What else do we... Well, okay, let's take a look at an outcome for a Sagittarius. What is going to be the outcome for the situation January 1st through the 15th, 2023? What is going to be the outcome of this situation? Tell me more about this situation, Spirit. Okay, the Hierophant. Yeah, you're gaining wisdom. You're learning. You're studying something. You're being a wise teacher. You're making a lot of spiritual changes. And you have the, the Four of Cups. Now, with this Four of Cups, look how he's already grabbed that cup from the universe. He's already grabbed the gift that the universe has given to him. This thing that he was not paying attention to for so long. He's finally grabbed this cup and he's poured his emotions out on the floor. The cups are your emotions, your feelings, your, you know, love, satisfaction. But he's pouring them out. I feel like this is you pouring out your feelings about the situation. You're taking this gift that the universe has given you. And this may be of the resolutions that you're working on this may be something that you're learning but I, I i feel like you're taking that information and you're using it you're pouring it out and you're obtaining the knowledge of it you're using it to your advantage yeah we have the nine of cups So I definitely feel like this situation is going to lead you to be more abundant, more um, happy, more focused. 
more content, more abundant, definitely. But I feel like you are you're really taking care of your learning. Okay, Sagittarius, you're learning to take care of your needs. You're learning to take care of your needs. And you see that with the strength card at the bottom. The strength card at the bottom of the deck. Now, you have a lot of major arcana here. Now, we already had the tower at the bottom and the justice card. Okay, that's two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight major arcana. This is a very important message for you. This is something that you need to really take notice of. Take notice of this message, Sagittarius. This message is a strong message from Spirit. They're trying to let you know this is something that's urgent. This is something that you need to focus on. And I feel like when you focus on this situation, you're going to have a lot of courage. You're going to have a lot of healing. You're going to have a lot of strength. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords at the bottom again. So, yeah, I feel like with this situation... It's definitely going to be life-changing for you. This is definitely something that's going to change your life. Hmm. Okay, let's see what, what else we have for Sagittarius. Let's get some Oracle cards. Okay, Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to focus on? January 1st through the 15th. Give us their focus. Success. Focus on success. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like you're focused on your success. And I feel like it's just around the corner. It may not be the right time now because I feel like you're working on yourself. But I feel like after these changes occur, after these huge, huge changes start to transpire, it's going to be the right time. The right time to really focus on your inspiration and on your success. You're going to see some kind of impact from these changes. Okay. Let's get some monology cards for Sagittarius. Let's get some monology cards for Sagittarius. It may not be the right time now, Sagittarius, but it's coming. And you have emotions are running high, super moon. Yeah, so you may be kind of anxious going through these changes, but don't be wary. Sagittarius, all these changes are coming through for your greater good. They're going to leave you with a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. But you know, change can be a little scary sometimes, but don't be scared. Okay, Sagittarius, you're very close to achieving your goal. Definitely. And that goes right along with not the right time. Um, I feel like you're very close. It's very close. Once these changes start occurring, you're going to see more success. And yes, Sagittarius, believe in the impossible. Whatever your heart's desires, whatever you intend on um, having in your life. And also at the bottom, you want to meditate and contemplate. Yeah, go through your meditation. Work on your healing. Work on Sagittarius. Build Sagittarius up. Build them up. Be the lion. Be Leo. Build them up. Be courageous. Be fearless. Be unstoppable. 
Sagittarius. Okay, we have first quarter moon in Gemini. Speak your world into being. This is magician energy. You speak kind words to yourself. Speak good things into your life. Don't speak anything negative. Watch what you're saying. Watch what you're saying to yourself. Watch what you're saying to other people. Speak good things into your life, Sagittarius. And you have first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. And be open to discovering new things. At the bottom you have new moon in Taurus. Know your worth. Know that you are worthy, Sagittarius. You're worthy of all this abundance, of all this success, of this beautiful, huge change that's, that you're going through. I feel like you are a caterpillar in a cocoon and you're going to emerge this beautiful butterfly, butterfly full of colorful wings. Okay, we have Mary Magdalene teacher awakens you have something important to share follow the inner call don't let anything stop you definitely listen to your intuition follow the inner spirit that's trying to communicate with you follow your subconscious mind and you have the white eagle this is your ancestor spirit Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Yeah, Sagittarius. In the comment section below, I want you to write in the comment section, I have healing from any family wounds or patterns. I have healing from any family wounds or patterns. I have healing. Definitely beautiful energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have one call. Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Okay, Sagittarius, this is beautiful energy. Okay. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for any clarity on the situation. Most of the time, your rising sign will give you more clarity to your, to your situation. Okay, and uh, Sagittarius, many blessings to you. Love and light.